Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Interjection 12. The interjection today is blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's take a look at the note on the board here. Uh, if anybody wants a screenshot now, all right, let's get right back to it. Uh, the interjection blah, blah, blah can be used in a couple of ways. Uh, the most common one is when it is used to represent boring, unsurprising statements or to summarize something to get past the boring part. So that's what we're doing a lot of times when we're telling a story and we want to get past the boring parts but we don't want to fill in all those details. We say blah 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 and then kind of like jump right towards the end. So that's one of the most common ways that we use blah blah blah. Okay let's continue. The second use is more negative. Uh, it is often used as a put down, almost a little bit like uh, you're insulting somebody, uh, to make someone stop talking. Often the listener may be expressing uh, that what the speaker is saying is nonsense, meaningless, stupid, or unimportant, repeated too often. Uh, and the listener doesn't want to hear it. So that's basically what he's doing. He's saying, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't want to hear it anymore. Stop with your blah, blah, blah. All right, let's continue. The origin seems to have started around the 1920s and may have evolved from an older phrase that was blop, 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 okay, which used to be common in the 1800s but has since disappeared, so we don't really use it anymore. Blah, blah, blah is believed to derive from the same roots of the word barbarian, and I did a word origin on barbarian, you could check that one out. Uh, but this is basically the idea. To the Greeks, you know, at that time, going all the way back to ancient Greece, all Arabic languages sounded like bar, bar, bar. <laughs> meaningless words like uh, all the the what like today would probably be arabic words but you know in the ancient times sound like bar 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 to the greeks so that's what the, to them that became like meaningless talk that they didn't understand all right let's continue um the word blah by itself so we could use it as an adjective by itself means not interesting or exciting. So like, for example, we could say it's a blah day or a blah winter day, you know, a day probably with no sunshine, clouds, dark, you know, seems like a boring, you know, not happy day. We might say it's a blah day. We also use it as a noun. We could say like somebody got a case of the blahs too, where they're not, they're just kind of down and not happy. Uh, you know, everything's just kind of boring. Uh, not interesting, so that you got a case of the blahs. So blahs could be used as a noun like that as well. All right, and uh, we just have, we got four examples to cover out how we use the phrase, usually blah, 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 the, you know, interjection. All right, here's the first one. Uh, now this would probably be, you know, a girl uh, telling a story about her date, you know. It was a regular date. <laughs> He picked me up for a movie and dinner, blah, 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 you know, so she doesn't want to tell all these details in between. She wants to get right to the point. Uh, but at the end of the night, we had a big fight, you know, so jump right to that point. Okay, good. Uh, all right, let's continue. Number two, the beginning of the meeting was like usual, okay? They reviewed the usual stuff. They went over the usual stuff, blah, 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 you know, because they're probably telling the story and those people would not be interested on what was in that business meeting. So you just say, blah, blah, blah. You're skipping all these boring details. Uh, and they announced they planned on downsizing. So, oh no, I might get fired <laughs> or something like that. Or they're going to fire a lot of people. So they're telling the story. All right. Uh, let's look at number three here. Now, uh, stop your complaining, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is the more negative one. If you are really that unhappy at work, you should just quit. You know, this is the one where you're tired of hearing it. You're losing your patience. Either you think it's boring or stupid, or maybe they repeated it too often. Blah, blah, blah. Stop your complaining. So this is the way we use it. And the last one here. Enough already. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear any more about it. You know, kind of like that. That's just the way we hear it used. Okay, anyway. I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. 
Again, if you uh, like these interjections and sometimes, you know, we give you the origin as well. I'd appreciate if you give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.